Hi there, this is Brian Darian from the Disability Digest uh, with some information about some smart ways in which you can supplement your Social Security disability income and keep all of your benefits. And I use the term smart in this because success leaves clues. And I'm going to share with you at the end of this video what others are doing successfully to supplement their income. But before I do, I want to cover some of the technicalities of earning income while you are approved for disability so that you can do it and keep your benefits. First of all, on the screen right now is a disability award letter. Uh, they're all the same as far as what you are expected to adhere to and there's one key sentence in here that says please be sure to read the parts of the plant pamphlet that tell you what to do if you go to work or your health improves excuse me or your health improves so if you're going to do any type of work to be in compliance with this my advice is just let social security know um, and that could be if you're going to start your own business or do something part-time and many people are not certain exactly how much they're going to make. So just say, I hope to make four or $500 a month or six, $700 a month, somewhere in a realistic range um, and do that. Now, when you communicate to Social Security, always best to do so in writing and make sure that they sign for it so that it's on file. If you just call and tell somebody, not so good may not remember may not put it in the notes okay so that's number one follow your responsibility number two is um, how much you can make and keep your benefits which is up on the screen now this is a video and I'm gonna go through the short version of this with you um, because you can watch the whole video if you want the link would be um, associated with this video now here's the thing. There are two different regulations for earning income and I'm talking mostly to those of you that are approved for disability, um, how much you can make and keep your benefits and that is one amount. And then there is a separate amount for those of you that are going through the application process. Yes, the regulations allow you to work and earn some money within the limit uh, but it's a separate regulation not to be confused and have some different um, considerations uh, that you should have that I've covered in other videos. So for this one, on this link right here, uh, how much you can make and keep your benefits is right down here at the bottom. And what I'm going to go through uh, is doesn't have, uh, will keep you out of the ticket to work program. This is something that you can do each and every month and not have any impact on your benefits if you follow the rules and do it correctly. All right, so I'm going to back into this from the total amount. We're in 2024, and if you're approved for disability, you can earn $1,110 a month. If you're below that amount, then it does not trigger a trial work period. Anytime you are over that amount, which adjusts every year, as you may see from this chart, then you uh, start using one of your trial work months. So if you stay below this amount, ideally like 20% below this amount, um, then you can do this consistently every month. If you're one of those people that is right on the edge every month, um, it could cause a problem. All right, so make sure that you are aware of how much you can make and what the regulation is. And it changes every year. If you see here, um, it went up from $1,050 to $1,110. Now the next consideration for this is, um, and this is not covered in the whole screen here, but there's um, special workplace um, expenses that you can deduct and this is the code of federal regulations from Social Security and this is pretty diverse from uh, transportation to things that you may need to assist you to work um, 
It could be if you have even family members that are helping you get ready and get to work. Uh, that can be an expense that's considered. And then this is above and beyond the traditional expenses of like, um, say, your cell phone or your computer if you're using that for work. So make sure you max out all of those expenses. So that would look something like this. Let's say that you are earning $1,200 a month. Uh, that's your gross amount, but you have $200 in expenses. Um, so that would reduce your amount to $1,000 a month is how that works. Okay. Um, the last thing is this, and again, all of these links will be below this video. I have, uh, or we have put together this page here of how others are uh, supplementing their income and keeping their benefits. And it's listed in not necessarily in order of success or priority, but it's freelancing. Um, and this is uh, from somebody that we have interviewed that does some work for us here that <clears throat> um, runs an entire business with disabilities. There's people in here that have done mystery shopping, built websites, YouTube channels, uh, do travel um, and tips from from others that work here. So there's a, an abundance of information to help you with ideas. Now, this may not be in direct relation to something that you choose to do or want to do, but I encourage you to come in and listen because you can pick up tips for like how to manage your day, how to set your expectations, how to deal with boundaries so that it can help you with your uh, maximizing your chances of success. Um, so again, all these links will be uh, associated with the description in this video. It'll cover how much you can make, what your responsibilities are, um, and a workplace or impairment related expenses, and then a link to this page right here that's got um, audios and audios and audios and videos. So I hope you find this helpful. I would really enjoy hearing from you in the comments about uh, any questions you have on this topic. It's something that we work very hard on here at the Disability Digest to help people understand that you know, once we help you get approved, then we can help you supplement your, your income. So questions or join one of our live sessions and submit your questions or in our live events, you can actually call in. We, we take uh, you know, three, four calls from our audience every day, and this would be great to work on something like this. So hope you find it helpful. Make, make it a great day and stay tuned for more. Thanks.